Today we are gonna create a seamless transition using a horizontal flip and reverse the speed in Prima Pro. At the end of this tutorial, I'll share with you how you can make the same seamless transition without applying any effects. We have two video clips on the timeline in Prima Pro. First, we need to review the footage to select the best portion for the seamless transition. Now slowly move the time indicator to the beginning to find the best frame or point for trimming the footage. Click and drag the beginning of the footage to the time indicator. Let's play the video to find the out point for trimming the footage. I think this frame is perfect. Now click and drag the end of the footage to the time indicator. So selecting the best portion for the first footage is complete. Now let's go to the second footage, navigate to the end of the footage and find the point for trimming the footage. Trimming the footage is important for achieving a seamless transition, so ensure the cut is made at the right frame. Once the time indicator is correctly positioned, drag the end of the footage to the time indicator to trim it. Next, create a cut for the beginning portion of the footage. To achieve a seamless transition, we need to move the second footage to the left next to the first footage. Even after playing the video, notice there is no indication of a seamless transition on the program monitor. Therefore, let's make adjustments to the second footage. Currently, you can observe on the program monitor that there is a blurred area on the right side of the frame. For a seamless transition, we need to bring this area to the left. To do this, navigate to the effects tab and find the horizontal flip effect. Then apply it to the second footage. Now you notice that the issue has been solved. You notice there is no indication of a seamless transition. To address this, we need to bring the ending portion of the second footage to the beginning. The solution is to reverse the speed of the footage. Right click on the footage and select speed or duration. Enable the options for reverse the speed and click OK. Finally, play the video again to observe the seamless transition. Our seamless transition is nearly complete but a minor adjustment is required. Right click on the edge of the clip and add a cross dissolve transition. Adjust its duration slightly if necessary. Now play the video to see the final seamless transition. In the final stage, it is important to apply seamless sound effects to the transition and make it more engaging. I have a tutorial about seamless transition sound effects. You can find the tutorial link in the description below. Another easy way to create a seamless transition using the same footage is to duplicate the footage by holding down the Alter key on the keyboard. Then select the second footage and remove the horizontal flip effect from it. Next, revert the speed of the second footage by right clicking on it, selecting speed or duration and disable the reverse speed option. Drag the first footage from the left to the right after the second footage and then play the video. The seamless transition is complete, both ways are important because our time indicator is become complicated while creating cinematic videos. Thanks for watching this seamless transition tutorial in Prima Pro, see you in the next one.